Wee wee woo. I don't even know why my bitrate is low. Hi. Does it- <laughs> does everything sound like shit? Hey. Hey. Oi. Bitch. I don't know how loud everything is. Fart. Yay. I'll turn it down a, a smidge. Is that better? I don't know how anything's- my, I, Why is my bitrate red? Shut up! I don't care. It don't- down <laughs> Enos! Enos Abrose has become an Earl Enos. slash Countess. The pre-77 dance, the pre-77 dance, the pre-77 dance. Thank you, Enos! Dance, the Wait, didn't you just dance. sub? Wait, what? It's been a month? <laughs> it's been a month? This is- Oh! Shut the fuck up, Shiny! <laughs> Damn, it's been a month. Thanks for resubscribing, Enos. What the hell? It's been a month. Did the Pokeball work? I don't know if the Pokeball works. <laughs> Where the fuck are the Pokeballs? <laughs> what the hell? Where are the Pokeballs? Wait. Fuck, what button am I looking for? My god, okay, throw it. I'm good, Enos. How are you? Why is this no up? Oh, my bitrate's green. <laughs> why, why are the things not working? Wait a minute. I got a troubleshoot. Give me a second. What the fuck is going on? Uh. Okay, so the testing is working on these. I've turned off the tits overlay because I'm messing with things and I don't want it to show shit I don't want it to show. Okay, let's... It's visible again. Ooh, happy birthday! Did you have a good birthday? Okay, it's working again now. I'll do the things for you, shiny. Where is it? Where the fuck is the throw lobby? There you are. I don't know why it was not working that- Why am I go- Why is it making me go down? What the hell? Oh shit. Okay. Um, Shiny says the game sounds good, but you know I don't trust Shiny in anything, Enos, and you were the birthday boy. So, is the audio good birthday boy? It's not your birthday right now, but it was your birthday yesterday, so it's your, your birthday boy. You know, so I'm gonna... Where's your fucking little... This... How do... What can I do to you? <laughs> like, what can I do to your little guy? I can pin you. I'll pin you right on my forehead. So the game could be louder, Ogie. Yeah. Is that better? <laughs> also, Shiny, you're a slot for most things. The stake doesn't surprise me. Okay, right, we're gonna play now. This is gonna have a reading in it, and you know how I am. Uh, ooh, do I want to be a fox or do I want to be Bob? <laughs> yeah, for your birthday! I don't know how long the pin lasts. You might, you'll fall off eventually, but it's your birthday! Yeah! Bob. Oh, Bob's not ready yet. Okay, <laughs> we have to play with the fox. Ooh. Broadcast journalist. Undercover journalist or thingy scammed. I know, right? And your armor type changes to thick fur. What the fuck? I need to take two sleeping pills at a time to sleep if I'm this motherfucker? No, fuck that. And I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to shower or like always have soap with me. I'm gonna go with the undercover journalist. 
Also, I don't like steak. Steak isn't my thing. Uh, if it's... Oh, I didn't read that fast enough. <laughs> How old are you now, Enos? Why is my shit lagging? Dear viewers, I'm here at Lame Leg River near the Black Marsh Chemical Plant at Skid Road. It's a lot of words. As you can see, the river is purple. It also has a very pungent odor. That's me. Stinky. Go 26. Nice! High five! I'm with one of the residents of the riverbank. Let's hear his thoughts on the matter. My thoughts? This damn chemical plant opened less than two years ago and it's already devastated the surrounding area. You slept for many things. Yeah, you are. Those heartless sons of bitches must have dumped sewage into the river at night. Now all the fish are dead. Just smell that stench. So many kids are sick. They can't stop coughing and have rosh roshes? rashes all over their bodies. It's messed up. Can we go to the strip club? No, we can't go to the strip club. Zootopia ain't the same anymore. Nah. Why, why do you want to go to the strip club? Is it because it was Enos's birthday yesterday? Is that why you want to go to the strip club? I mean, I can carpool you guys there. Because furry butt. Oh, oh, are you doing the fucking... Oh, what fucking song is that? Caravan. It's Caravan Palace's song. With the furry that's in the cage and there's like dogs that fucking... <laughs> yes, there we go. <laughs> and have you... <laughs> Gold Digger, thank you. And have you informed the authorities such as the Environmental Protection Agency or City Hall? I fell down, repin, please. Oh. Okay. Uh, where I... eh, fuck. I fucking fucked it. There you go. Lone digger. Okay. Well, I mean, close enough. You only get three repins, okay? This is your second repin. After the third one, you're not getting any more repins. Okay, Enos. Three. <laughs> Oh, I can't, ugh. Of course, but they're useless. None of them want to take responsibility. I heard that the mayor's nephew has shares in the plant. The bastards are all in it together. Blah, blah, blah. I am already getting bored of reading. They see us poor people here as less than nothing. Viewers, is this tragic situation here the result of illegal sewage dumping? Only three. What are you, a genie? Yes! Yes! And is the inaction of the authorities due to the mayor's involvement? It's not letting me go faster, by the way, so I, I, I can't click and make this goat jelly sound is cutting off. The bit right. Oh no. Is it bad? Why is everything so. Damn. Now it's good. Nah. Okay. <laughs> was it the game audio that was cutting off or was it me? Or was it both? Might need to lower my bitrate for the next stream because it seems as if it's, uh, it's an issue. Game audio. Game. The fuck? Yeah, I might need to lower my bitrate for future streams actually. Just a smidge. Because it seems like my computer does not like it. What is my shit anyway? Fuck it. It's being dramatic for no fucking reason. My CPU is only 30%. The fuck? Why is this? What the fuck, dude? Why is it being such a cunt? Anyway. Excellent interview, Mr. Oh, this is so much reading. Uh, Mr. Big Shot Reporter. I'm sure you didn't ask me here just to watch a video with you. I'm not saying that. Indeed not. We're both busy men. I'll get straight to the point. As you know, the mayor's four-year term is almost up. The election's just around the corner. He's seeking re-election and has hired me, Angelo, as his campaign manager. The mayor's asked the eraser for help. He must be desperate. Why does this man have a gorilla as a bodyguard? The eraser? Oh, that's just the baseless, baseless slander. I'm a serious social activist. Also, today I went to go get new glasses because I have a lazy eye. My left eye is a lazy eye. I can't see shit. Motherfucker does nothing. Like, literally, the heavy lifting is done by my right eye. 
it's a it's a miracle i have very good village vi village vision in my right eye but my left eye d god help it who wouldn't want a gorilla for a bodyguard what's what a lazy eye huh yeah i got a lazy eye my left eye don't work i mean it works but it doesn't you know what i mean ha ha ino fell ha 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 this is your last repin enos use it wisely <laughs> <laughs> but let's get back to the point cards on the table any fuck wait i was sick okay so i got my eyes looked at today because i'm supposed to be wearing i'm supposed to wear glasses when i'm like on my computer and stuff do i no because one i'm lazy two the prescription i had made my left eye feel like it was pressure pin me on your belly button okay and remember, this is your last pin. Are you positive this is where you want to be? Are you absolutely sure? Are you positive? Best place. Okay, that's your last pin. You don't get you don't get any more pins. You can't ask me for any more. When you fall, that's it. You're done. Understand? <laughs> we really like a piercing. <laughs> Um, if it was me, you'd know where I'd want to be pinned. To the floor? Anyway, um, so I, like, went, went to basically be like, hey, because I get to, to the wall boobs. Oh, uh, I get, my country does like every two years you get a free eye exam. Um, so you, just to check that your eye is like healthy and shit. Um, so I went because it was my two year one and I was like, eh, I might as well like go and be like, hey, it feels like my eyeball is like it gonna kill itself when I have my glasses on because like it generally just feels like as a fucking to her lazy left eye. Leave my lazy left eye out of this motherfucker. God, it's trying its fucking best. OK, Jesus. Um, so we went and I. Obviously, when I was a kid, I was supposed to have like, oh shit, you accidentally won. Uh, when I was a kid, I was supposed to, you, I don't know if you guys would know this. I'm assuming they do it everywhere, right? It's, a, it's not like just a, I'd basically just have to wear like a patch over my right eye and my glasses to try and force my left eye to work and like function. But because I was one, autistic and two, heavily bullied, I did not do that. I did not do that. <laughs> And now I pay the consequences of my actions because you can only really do that when you're a kid. Because <laughs> after, when's what? I, isn't it like, I think it's like 12 when your eyes stop fully developing? When your eyes stop developing, even or whatever the fuck. Uh, so I'm 26. So my eyes. It's, all hope is lost. That motherfucker is just chilling. My right eye does all the heavy lifting. My left eye is just vibing, bro. Um. So we think that maybe because I don't even wear my glasses now <laughs> and only wear them sometimes, um, my eyes basically just being like, "Ewie, get this off of me. I don't like it. It makes me see and I don't really like it. I'm in pain. Eh. It's constantly on vacation time. It is, dude. Um, Ewie, <laughs> work. Ew. <laughs> Relatable. <laughs> uh, so yeah, done all the like the tests and stuff and they fucking did the glaucoma thing where they blast air into your eye and it made me jump every fucking time. I knew it was coming and every fucking time I was like, Ugh. <laughs> she, she had to spray my eye like five times, dude. She sprayed both of my eyes five times because every fucking time I was like, <laughs> and they done a 3D scan of my eyeballs. That was fun. I got to see like the, the optician. She like showed me the 3D scan and was like showing me like the back of my eyeball and shit and being like, look, you got fucking amazing back of your eyeballs here, ba babes. Still, that, there was like, a, I don't know. She was like, like saying all these layers of like the stuff that was there at the back of my eye and being like, this is all looking really good. And I was just like, thanks, bitch. Thank you. Thank you. And also my blood vessels are all consistent. I've had pictures of my eyes over the years and my eyes consistent blood vessels perfect ocular whatever the fuck perfect 
<laughs> Bakiran's looking great. Yeah. <laughs> there's like a nutrient layer or whatever that's like smooth, and there's like, what was it like? Oh, it started with an M, but I can't remember what it was. And just, but yeah, she was she was just basically being like, bitch, your eyes are healthy as fuck. Your left eye has just not wanting to work, and honestly, good for it. <laughs> so. Also, I have astigmatism. Mucus? No, it's not mucus. It's, it was like a longer thing. I, I, I don't know. It's something, it's some thing in the back of your eye. And if you're diabetic, it, it can cause issues. And when you're older, it could like get lumpy or whatever. Mucus, but longer. Yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> I have astigmatism as well, by the way. So like, but that was quite funny because she's like, she... <laughs> So, so she put the, you know, the little thing and they do the switchy, the lenses being like, is number one or number two better or worse, blah, blah, blah. It was like that, but the, it was, the lenses were colored. This is saving itself when you're older to take over your right. We hope. We really hope. <laughs> so I think, I don't know what one it was, but I think my right eye had the red filter and my green, my left eye had the green. And I was looking at this thing and... I, now I know when she took it away, she showed me it without it, right? And it was like a red diamond on the top, a white circle on the bottom, and on the sides were two purple, two purple? Two green crosses, right? And when I had those filters on, <laughs> and I was looking at it, I could see the red diamond and the circle was there, but it was red. And I couldn't see the two, well, I could see the two green, pluses but they were like to the left <laughs> they were to the left and also i saw a second group circle that was green that was also to the left <laughs> i couldn't see any any like green on my right eye because of the filter and shit uh when she showed me it, i was like damn <laughs> damn that's a lot different than what i was fucking seeing dude uh but yeah we're gonna basically do my glasses were gonna do a balance lens she it described what that was to me did i fucking absorb any of that information no <laughs> me absorb information no i was too busy looking at the pictures of my eyeballs bro <laughs> she was like trying to describe shit to me and i was like yo my blood vessels <laughs> um so yeah, we're gonna get like a balanced lens and basically just completely change the prescription I have to see if that helps with the pressure so that I can like wear my glasses. Uh, Cause I really do technically need to wear them when I'm like reading and on my computer and I am on my computer and reading a lot. So kind of needed. Um, anyway, the point of this story is right, after I did all the eye tests, this wasn't even what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about me being gay and it was related to the eyes. <laughs> because when I, went, when I finished with the optician lady, they put me with the little salesperson, right? And she was gonna, I handed her my old glasses because like I've, I've had my old glasses for 10 years and I'm very attached to them. And she was like, okay, we can make this work, but these are 10 years old and if this breaks at all we can't fix it so i think you should get new glasses and i was like okay and the only reason i did this right the only like genuinely the only reason that i agreed to go along with this bro is because she gently put my glasses on me <laughs> <laughs> like she took my old glasses and like very gently put them on me and I was just like I need her to keep doing this <laughs> cuz she's pretty <laughs> so so we, so I'm getting new glasses <laughs> because she got other glasses and was like to like little you know the little display ones to so like put them on me and like to help me find like a pair that look good um and she i just kind of let her do her thing and she was at every single time she put those glasses a pair of glasses on me bro i was like i i was butterflies i was like oh my god <laughs> my little gay ass bro <laughs> anyway so she the glasses that we went that i bought um, when she put them on me, the face she made of just her being like, I have chosen the best fucking glasses. Because when she put them on me and the, just her face of just like, 
yep these are the ones and then i looked at myself and i was just like damn you are right these are the ones um <laughs> but yeah um yeah if you want if you want me to buy things just get a pretty lady to gently place things on me and i will just be like yes <laughs> anyway so yeah getting new glasses hopefully they don't make me want my eyeball feel like it's gonna explode pretty women anyway <laughs> back to the game <laughs> cards on the table the mayor does indeed have a certain relative who shares holds shares in the plant but the mayor wasn't aware of that fact and no so-called power for money deal ever took place but your interview may cause some of the more unsophisticated citizens to misunderstand the situation so i hope you'll consider your follow-up report to avoid any further misunderstandings i'll find out the truth baby girl well, a great journalist, I admire your passion for your work, but there's more to life than work, far more. What are you trying to say? Little Birdie told me you're still renting some fleabag apartment and broke up with your girl not too long ago. And no friends to speak of other than that lawyer you used to go to school with. Your radical reporting always gets you in trouble, but he's the one who has to clean up your mess. You flatter me, uh... I'm not- I can't be bothered. I'm just trying to make a point. You both find yourselves in situations that are less than ideal. We can help each other. Of course he's named Kong. Money! He's bribing me. You trying to buy me? You got me wrong. I simply want you to join our campaign staff as head of pub publicity. Publicity. This is your fee. Some of your talent working as a TV reporter. Such a waste. Someone of your talent, I think that said. <laughs> I want to give you an opportunity, so will you join us? Or you're a smart fox, I'm sure you'll make the right choice. No. I'm not by I'm not taking your money. Bye. Since you're so determined to be so stubborn, you leave me no other choice. Is the eraser about to show his true colours? You can't buy me, so you have to resort to threats. Are you looking for the chance to erase me as well? Ow. Hydrate. Thanks, shiny. And a big stretch. I should have took a sip, but I took a gulp. <laughs> Stretch. You're the hotshot who broke the contamination story. God, I feel gay right now. I want to hug men. Oh, shiny. <laughs> shiny, did you, did, were you listening to my story about why I bought new glasses? Or did you leave after I talked about how healthy my eyeballs are? <laughs> if you were to disappear, it would be a major headache for me. After all, the public do love to engage in wild speculation. I'm glad to hear that. If there's nothing else, I'll be going. And I promise you, you'll see a follow-up report real soon. You'll regret your foolishness. Shiny. Oh, the cops. They don't said you had good nerves. You said you had to, you did do it. So now you're left out on vacation. You, so you didn't hear the why I bought new glasses. <laughs> They're a problem officer who received an anonymous tip that this car contains an illegal substance. We're here to check. Then for some reason, I imagine soups. Okay and spaced out okay thinking about soup valid move your ass turn the trunk inside out must be some mistake that's for us to determine you just sit tight now i want men okay huh to feed me soup fair enough shiny i found it he was hiding something and it looks like grade a stuff shut your mouth save it for the station got arrested and call me a good girl because i'm lonely oh shiny what a great day this calls for another cup um so basically shiny i got new glasses because when i went i'm not reading all of that god by god I, um basically i got new glasses because when i went out i handed the sales lady my old glasses and she was like these are 10 years old and also when they and she like gently put them on my face and it was like, yeah, and also the frames just don't fit you anymore. They're really tight on your temples. And in the moment she put the glasses on me, I was like, 
I need her to keep doing this. So I got her to pick out new glasses for me. <laughs> Big head princess. They're 10 years old. Uh, Christ. <laughs> I got them when I was 16. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I got them when I was 16. Um, so basically, I, I feel you though, for real, for real, yeah. So basically, after she gently put the glasses on me and I was like, oh my God, I need her to keep doing this because she was pretty. Um, she picked out glasses for me and each, you want women to hold your face, basically. And when she, every time she gave me like glasses, she like put them on for me, like so delicately, and I was just like, oh my god, I'm too gay for this. <laughs> so, <laughs> gay moment. Yeah. And when she picked out a specific pair of glasses, she, that she was like, when she put them on me, she just was like, these are the ones. And like the face she made of just like, yep, yep, yep. And when I looked at myself, I was just like, damn, she's good at her job. So yeah, I bought new glasses because I was obsessed with feeling her gently place the glasses on me. And I had to like lean down a bit for her to do it. Oh my God. <laughs> I was just, oh, she was pretty. She was also an older woman, so MILF. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> stand at attention. Listen good fish. From now on, you are in May 1220. I'm Captain Bruce, and my words are the law. You will obey. Do you understand? Yup. Yup, yup. Good, now get your ass to cell three and make it snappy. Oh, I can click on the ground to move. Your new home. Before you go in, one last thing. Head count in the, is in the lobby at eight. You better not be late. Now get out of my sight. Now, it's been a week since my conviction. I still haven't met with Reed. I don't know how the appeal process is- appeal is progressing, I need to contact him ASAP. Ask the prisoners they should know how to contact the outside. Hi, roommate. Hello. I don't want a man to hold my face like that. But like, shiny. Don't be horny. Smoosh cheeks. Ah, okay. Oh, hi, I was just reading a letter from my girlfriend. I'm Sam, my nickname's Ratchet. I was a mechanic on the outside. Might have seen your show. What show? Uh, how do I contact people outside, my guy? This is a modern prison. You can write a letter like me, or if you're honey, hurry, there's a payphone. And then spank. Mm. <laughs> Shiny. Shiny. God. You can try after head count, but there's usually a line. Call cool after head count. Okay. Can I leave? Okay. Go to head count. Yeah. It's like I made it in time. <laughs> Settle down, all of you. The head count's starting. Two missing in the infirmary. Listen up, today's the first of the month, which means some more dipshits have joined you. I'll warn you now, do not try to stand out from the crowd. Try to be a smart ass in my domain and I will show you no mercy. Now, let's get down to business. All you newcomers, listen and listen good. To keep you lazy maggots to- To enable you lazy ma- bleh. So no head? So no head. S jumps on my skateboard. Uh, there are still vacancies in the laundry room, so any new inmates who want to earn some money should apply. Okay. Okay, shut up. Let me get a job. I need a job. Oh, wait, I need to call. I don't know. Oh. Hello. Let me in. Did you show my script to the director or not? What? What do you mean you didn't get a chance? You're his assistant. Do you have any idea how important this script is to me? It's Rudolph. <laughs> don't forget who helped you when you when you were rock bottom. Can you let me in? There's guards watching me. Oh wait. How do I apply for a job? Do I have to talk to that guy? Oh. You. Aha, yes. Wait, let me... Let me apply to work in the laundry, please. Yay! 
how do I get there? Simple, you see this fence gate. Oops. Health certificate. Okay. Oh, shit. Why is my health at 80, dude? Hello. This guy sure is tall. Hey there, friend. You seem to be interested in my height. I hope I didn't make you uncomfortable. Don't worry about it. I actually feel quite good. It actually feels quite good to look down on folks. We love a giraffe. I'm Jimmy the giraffe. I used to be a software engineer. Surprised her. You must be thinking, I can't believe this guy isn't a pro basketball player. I may be tall, but I suck at basketball. Or more specifically, I don't like to do any exercise other than yoga for two if you catch my trip. <laughs> this man fucks. <laughs> I do watch games from time to time, but only when I have a little money riding on them. Bitch, same. <laughs> I don't want to be tagged with all the with the old giraffes or big dummies label. I think you understand where I'm coming from, don't you, cunning fox? I've made a friend. By far the tallest prisoner in the Oh, <gasps> the fucking payphone's open. I need to call my lawyer. Hello. Oh, I can make two calls today. Did we charge $10 per call? I only have $50. Dude, I only have fifty dollars. I need to pay a hundred dollars. I'm out of pay, <laughs> sir. I am your attorney. Where's the bath womb? Where's the can I go out here? Nope. Let's be friend Sam the donkey. Oh, is this my cellmate? I'm gonna marry her as soon as I get out. We've already set a date. More precisely, her <laughs> broke ass fox. <laughs> I'm in prison and they're making me pay $100 to call people. Oh. He loves his girlfriend. Good for him. Where's the doctor? I need a health certificate. Ooh, lion. Alex. Oh, he doesn't like me. Gang affairs? The gang, the sharp tooth gang controls the prison's basketball court and TV room. He's the boss, Alex the Lion. Hi, dude. You want some? Yeah. Can I learn about gang quest? Where's the gang store? What's in the store? I don't have money for any of it. Get a, a cat pin up. <laughs> <laughs> I will get quest later. Can I? Is there anywhere else to go here? No. Pin up of a cat! <laughs> All right. Asking Raphael to negotiate with the Bigfoot gang was nothing but a waste of time. Those bastards wanted the kitchen all to themselves right from the start. They think we're a bunch of pussies. If you ask me, we should set fire to their storage room. Shall we mean business? I'll take over your entire stock for a hint of pussy. <laughs> I don't want to talk to the bear. I want I need a health certificate so that I can call my lawyer after I can work. Where the fuck is the doctor in this fucking prison? Why is this man cowering in the corner? <laughs> What's up, dude? I'll st there's no one here. All the little elves. Can't you see them dancing on the tip of my nose? And the lobster knights climbing up my legs. You're high as a kite. This is my psychic powder. And then I guess you added a lot of herbs and spices to your food, right? I put in some mushrooms and painkillers. It tastes an elf's world. Oh, wow. He's high. Good for him. Um. Oh, a kangaroo. Hello. Oh, I need focus points? Shit. Wait, how do I... Uh... If you can't wait to meet someone, try chewing some mint to calm yourself down. Okay, how do I leave the tutorial? Oh, the X is on the bottom there. Is there no possum? I can't talk. To anyone. Where the fuck do I go to see the doctor? Am I stupid? 
I mean, yes, but I'm, I mean... Upstairs, maybe? Yes, I'm kidding. <clears throat> what this? Nope. Shine me. What is this? Yes, mom, my prince. Were you about to call me mom? Wait, the infirmary is... I'm stupid. Nah. Yeah, you were. You little freak. You misread. No, I didn't. I walked around like an idiot for no reason. Because I can't read. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. Hello? How do I get in there? Do I have to talk to you? Hello? I don't have enough focus points to befriend you. Let me in! You, she has some free time. I undergo a brief physical. From the records, I see this is your first time in the infirmary. I'm the doctor here. I'm responsible for all the inmates' ailments, big and small. Every day I leave at 7... 15.30, 5.30 sharp. I don't like overtime. I understand that. I don't, wouldn't want to work here at prison either. Girl, it's 10 It's ten a.m. I don't need to know when you get off work. I'm here early. If you get hurt during the night, the guard brand will administer your drip. He's not a doctor, but he has some medical training, so you don't need to worry. <laughs> ah, look at your test results. First of all, congratulations. There's nothing major wrong with you. Yay! But considering the unsanitary conditions here, you can never be too cautious. I'll give you a vaccination to help protect against most of the infectious diseases here. <clears throat> don't touch anything on the instrument tray. I can tell if anything's missing. She, she told me off. Is that the instrument tray? Okay, I'm gonna look right here instead. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, gimme. Gimme. What's this? Computer. Like, yeah, her desktop is a mess. Let's search the computer. Shit. Okay, I sit back down. It won't let me look in her computer. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Don't get any ideas. I was I wasn't trying to flirt with you. Do you know that the prison rules say I'm not allowed to talk to room to the roommates? <laughs> so why are you talking to me? Inmates? Because I'm the only one in the examination room. Have you tried not speaking to anyone for a whole day? I sometimes wonder who the real prisoner is, so why are you a prison doctor? I'm just a stupid girl trying to piss off her even stupider father, Beth. <laughs> Beth. I've befriended her slightly. I'm not- should I give her a gift? I have leather shoes, the fuck? I don't really want to actually get- mm, I'll give her a cookie. Okay, <laughs> she, didn't, she liked it, kind of. <laughs> Yay, I've passed my physical. Now I can work in the laundromat. Wow. What are you supposed to do in an ironing board? Um, iron? Maybe? 
I mean, I, sorry if that seems like an absurd fucking thing to think, but coughs violently, me. <clears throat> Hit people with the iron? No. Befriend. Oh. Okay. Can I work now? Or like. I know work instructions. Oh shit, it's Bob. I can't be him, but I can talk to him. Let me dig through the trash. Ooh, paper. What is? Trash. a nail and a metal pipe. Let's go. <laughs> am I am I really just that stupid? Move the machine. Okay, good. The work instructions were behind the thing. There we go. Did I take in any of that information? I'm a BRB. Okay. As good. Seven minutes. Okay, I need ten more dollars. And then I can call my my guy. Oh my fucking lawyer now. Hey food. Shut the fuck up. Uh I have I could buy apple pie. No, I'll buy pumpkin porridge. Who do I wanna sit with? Is my like cellmate in here somewhere? <gasps> I'll fucking sit with my giraffe friend. Yeah. I only have half of my pumpkin porridge left, but I must I must bond with my giraffe. Oh, it's a horse. Oh, he's a unicorn. Never mind. Free unicorn. Ray. That's much more intimate. Okay. 
Brown horse who claims to be a unicorn. He may look slightly odd, but his artistic flamboyance is never dull. He rejects gender stereotypes and has unique views of the relationship between gender and self. He makes no secret of his love for handsome guys. You, you little fruit? Can I, can I be your friend? <laughs> A messy squiggle. That's me. I can't spend money on shit. Okay. Um... I need to call my lawyer. No returning to the main building before fucking 5.30. What's up, Crunchy? You talking to me? Of course. Who else would I be talking to? Uh, what do you want? I don't have enough for lunch, so I want to buy some snacks from the machine, but I'm out of money. What's that got to do with me? Get tough with them. Fuck it, I'll fight. If you can take half of my health, I'll let you go for today. Let's see what you got. You have higher agility, so get to go first. Okay. I do have a metal pipe. <laughs> I do have a metal pipe. <laughs> oh, he has a fucking wrench. Uh oh. Uh, I don't have any fighting moves. Don't have enough energy. Okay. Come on, I'm nearly halfway. Oh no! I'm fucked, dude. Shit. I'm fucked. Fuck! <laughs> he better not take my money. Fuck, he took all of my money! <laughs> dude! He took all of my money. Mushrooms. God, there's the fucking unicorn. I'm gonna go flirt with him. Hey, dude. Can I sell some shit to you? Can I sell shit? No? Go mushroom? Oh, he loves it because it's for me. Got hurt. 
Oh wait, shit. Well, this. Five dollars per use. Costs money to shit. <laughs> Dude, can I have my money back? <laughs> Can I do some exercise or does that also cost money? Okay. No, oh, please don't charge me money. I'm in charge here. Anyone from another gang who wants to work out pays a fee. I, I'm not part of a gang. Turn yourself into Bruce to confess. Last shank. Love that. General building. Oh, there's an entrance fee. Do I also need to pay money to join the fucking- to go in the church? <laughs> the Bigfoot gang doesn't like me. <laughs> spoon. Shit, I don't have any space in my pockets. No space in my pockets for me to fucking... Do I need a full thing? I do not want to drink rubbing alcohol. Six hours of segregation. <laughs> I have so much contraband on me. I win! Holy shit! I have a metal pipe on me and a fucking glass shank! How did I not get caught?
Excuse me, you can totally brush your teeth without a toothbrush. You just have to fucking use your finger and just pray. I'm hungry. Okay. I'll put this in here. My spoon. Oh, wait. The copper can only store items with violation two or less. Okay. Let's hope I don't have nightmares. I'm gonna have nightmares. <laughs> So I'm guessing this could be like a gift or something? Ooh. Oh, nail back. Give me that. <laughs> I can have a nail bat as a weapon. <laughs> Ten violation. It'll be fine. <laughs> a toilet sink combo. Organize the sink? Oh. I need to shit. Ugh. Oh my god, my toilet's leaking. Examine the toilet. Oh. Shit. I gotta go head count. I didn't pass out? Yeah, sure, shiny. Everyone is here. Is a rooster. Warden, I was just about to read these fellows your announcements. Why are you here in person? Blah. Ho ho, Captain Bruce, I appreciate your willingness to share the workload. But I prefer to give the news to these kids in person. It was, my, It is my duty, after all. Despite my leg problems, it's not too much trouble to get here from the administration building. If I couldn't even do that, I'm sure the board would ask me to retire. Wouldn't you say so, Captain Bruce? wee doo wee -woo. I know you didn't mean that. Allow me to say a few words to everyone. Ugh. Cock of the block, am I right? I see your captain is still as spirited as ever. He's taken so much of the burden off me. I've seen some new faces over the last few days. I hope you can all live peacefully in your new home. The announcement I have for you 
today relates to just that. I hope you give it all your full attention. To show just how humane our correctional facility is. I need a pee pee. Go pee pee. Go piss girl. Go piss girl. We'll be starting a package service as well as letters. You can now also receive packages from the outside. Okay. Yes, what my friend says. Stop trying to call me mom. <laughs> Damn, my health went from 80 to 28 in a day. <laughs> Fuck, dude. <laughs> Let's go do some work. <laughs> Ooh, only point two, point zero two over it. Let's fucking go. Okay. Oh, dude, I nearly had that perfect. Nine minutes. Christ. <gasps> Perfect. Absolutely fucking bang on ten for that one. I'm st I'm too good. more money. Welcome back. Welcome back, shiny. I <laughs> need you, my princess. Me too. <laughs> I have enough money to call my fucking lawyer. <laughs> Did you have a good pee pee? You have a good piss girl? Oh shit, wait, it's my future boyfriend. I'm too embarrassed to say it in front of me, everyone forget. I'll tell you when we have a little more privacy. Can I give you another gift? Can I give you a flower? <gasps> he likes flowers! <laughs> I don't know why I'm hitting on him. <laughs> Determined to make him love me. <laughs> Hello, I would like to call my fucking lawyer. Uh, okay. Six, four, five, eight, zero. Right? Six, five, four, eight, zero. Yeah. I did that wrong. Oh, I didn't. Gay, let's go. <laughs> Reads law, your reliable litigation spe specialist. It's me. Oh, finally, I was worried something happened. It's not that easy to call from here, so how are things going with the case? I was about just about to tell you the appeal fell through. I don't know if Angelo did something or if it was pressure from the mayor, but the retrial was denied. I have to wait a month before I can file another appeal, but as you know, the mayoral, mayoral election is in 20 days. <sighs> Even if the court does accept it, it's hopeless. Don't lose heart. I have some good news. 
Do you remember the anonymous phone call you received the night before you were arrested? It was a woman. She said she had date evidence that the mayor was taking bribes. I get calls like that from every day from scammers selling false information. I know you've fallen for it a few times, but and you've fuck me and gotten screwed out of a lot of money but that that one could be real remember where she wanted to meet you a little bar called baroness what about it bitch my investigation has uncovered that the bar has some connection with the mayor but i can't pro explain properly over the phone we need to meet in person only you have to wait a few days the prison said there are so many visit requests that all the slots are full and even lawyers need to go on a waiting list I know you're anxious. Do you think you could possibly ask one of the guards to see? <laughs> Way to bypass the waiting list. It might be worth a try. What else have I got to do, right? Okay. Do I need to make... Oh, it only costs $10 for me to make another call. But I need to save my money because I am poor. <laughs> Whitey. Do you like magic? Now me to introduce myself. I'm Whitey, a magician. Fun fact, in I don't know if they also do it in England, but in Scotland, when you when you're out drinking and you puke, uh, it's called a Whitey. <laughs> like when you're drunk and you vomit, it's a Whitey. And if you leave a situation to go to the bathroom to vomit, to like to make yourself vomit, that's a tactical Whitey. <laughs> Bleh, <puk. laughs> I don't know why look, we call it whitey, but that's what it is. It's a whitey. <laughs> it's so boring in here. If there was an exciting magic show, I'm sure everyone would be paid to, pay to see it. The death slice and the rabbit hole of death are my specialities. Okay, whitey. These things are certainly appealing. <laughs> so you're interested in the show? Yeah, fuck it. Let's start rehearsing tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Wait, so if you pee yourself, it's a black shiny <laughs> shiny no shiny you can't say that shiny when you pee yourself it's just pissing yourself dude jesus christ shiny i'm gonna do magic trip trips tricks with i can look at him Oh, he has a watch. Or a yellow... It's... Nope, you're just pissing yourself. Beautiful things always seem to attract each other, don't they? What do they mean? I mean, you and me, of course, in this whole place. Who's more attractive than us? Am I really that handsome? Your modesty only makes you more attractive. You do well at my acting. My name's Chris, and I'm a relationship artist. I specialize in helping lonely souls find comfort. I also trade in information. My brain's so low. I know, shiny. It's never particularly high. Um, but you're trying your best. You and I could team up, you know? As you know, people get very lonely in prison. Believe me, it would take- wouldn't take long for the whole place to be completely mesmerized by us. By then, it'll be our own private playground. <laughs> Make use of one strength. Yeah, fuck it, fuck it, I'll think about it. Fuck it. You declined his offer- offer- I did not decline his offer, I said I think about it, and I've thought about it, and I want to do it. <laughs> Do you want a flower? Ooh, they remind me of us. Ooh, you're fucking 39% vibe, bro. This is bullshit. It's not letting me say that I want to do the thing. Right, Walter. Should cover your nose. Oh, he's a skunk. Sorry about that. What is that smell? As you can see, I'm a skunk and I've just collected some essence from my glands. <laughs> but bottling it is not easy I accidentally got some on my hair so it smells a little undignified bottling I thought you only used your spray as a weapon when you feel threatened that's usually the case but I have a reason for collecting mine allow me to introduce myself the name's Walter I was a chemistry teacher before I was incarcerated I recently discovered a special substance in an extract from my spray if I can use it to synthesize a new drug don't guess. I don't want to give away too many details until testing is complete. Okay, so he's making he's making drugs. He's making drugs. Hey, Bruce. Aha, visitation. I heard that all the visitation slots are full and even lawyers need to go on the waiting list. Lawyers, I tell you, even if the father of the forest himself came down from the sky, he'd have to wait like everyone else. 
but like legally they have a right to see their lawyer you can put the lawyers on waiting lists last month some son of a bitch injured the guard escorted him during visitation so now security in visitation has been doubled naturally we've had to reduce the number of visit rooms but i really need to see my lawyer is there a way to bypass the waiting list conditions well, imagine having rights i know right do you know that there are three gangs in the prison? One of them is Caesars, whatever the fuck. I need to get into a cell. There should be a blue ledger there. If you can find it and bring it to me, I'll take care of visitation for you. I'll bring it. B205, I'll be waiting. Okay, I only have like 45 minutes to go in here and find this thing. 205. What number is this? What? Is this five? Two of five. Upstairs. Aha. Wee. That's him right there, and I'm about to just go into his shit. This cell belongs to the boss of the Black Claw Gang. Besides, why would the captain of the guards need to be sneaky? What's he up to? It's like I'm parachuting blindfolded. I don't give a fuck. Fuck it. He's right there. I'll wait until he isn't around just to be safe. Okay. Right. Can I talk to him though? Then again, if I can like befriend Caesar, then. Uh, hey. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'll tell him. Fuck it. Looks like there's business to be done, and it's business to tell me how much do I have to pay you to buy the secret? Just want to help us to help each other out. <laughs> tell about Bruce asking you to steal the ledger. It's all I know. I'm not sure what he wants the ledger for, but I don't want to get involved in this mess. Bruce is full of surprises. Uh, anyway, you've done me a big favor. I want visitation. I'm sure our scene captain given the ledger. Okay. Shiny, you're gay. Fake ledger. It depends on how you define real and fake. In a sense, this is more real than the other one. Trust me, give it to Bruce, he won't suspect a thing. Oh. Uh. Mum. Yeah? What? Hey, dude. Guess what? I got the thingy. Hee <laughs> hee. Woo. I'm awake. Eh, it doesn't seem like you're awake. Who's Wilbur? Oh, I don't have enough focus points to talk to Wilbur. Can I get some coffee? Drink hot wawa. Yay. Oh shit. Ooh, when in the hunger status, drinking hot water will no longer restore body, but will grant you one satiated instead. Yeah, fuck it. I'm so hungry. I feel bad for my little guy. Is it lunchtime yet? My guy is hungry. You know what? Fuck it. I'll use $10 to call Maggie. 13819. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Then help. This game has lo fi. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh wait. Uh, six. Fuck. Six, four, five. Eight zero. Take care of visitation and prison to notify you soon. I think it'll be worth it. La 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 la. Okay. It's because I spent $10 and I don't think it would have let me not spend like... Oh, hey, Franklin. Oh, I don't have enough focus points. I keep trying to talk to people and I just fucking can't. Dude. 
I'm fucking dying. I need food. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Let's talk to Perry, the platypus. Are you fucking for real? Oh, your friend. I don't have enough. Fuck, I keep forgetting I don't have enough fucking shit to fucking talk to people. <laughs> Can I shit? Will that help me? Oh, I don't feel like going to the bathroom. Okay, let's rest until lunchtime. I need food. My guy is starving. Um, ooh, an omelet. I don't have enough money for an omelet. Shit. Well, pumpkin porridge it is. Oh wait, let's go sit with Caesar. Eat. Nope, I'm not going to ask for his bread. <laughs> There's a 3% chance that'll work and I don't want to piss him off. Hey, William. You... Hello. He speaks so slowly. Pleased to meet you. I have been here for many years, so... If you need to know anything, you can ask me anytime you like. Yay! He's my friend now. Do you want... No, I'm not gonna give him shit. Do you want... What do you have? He has coffee! I don't have money for coffee. <laughs> Wait, can I dig around in the trash? Oh, I didn't find shit. Oogie. Um... Can I get more food? No. <laughs> <laughs> fucking course I can't get more food. What am I am I fucking am I naive? Why would I why would I only get more than one meal? Like why why would I ever think that I'd get more than one meal? Okay. Um I've I could buy a cookie. You are naive. I am I am a silly little guy, aren't I? Let me eat this cookie. This fucking cookie didn't do shit for me. <laughs> Oh, it's the Lynx. Hi, guy. Hey. I can't give him any more gifts. God damn it. Oh, wait. Yeah, I can talk to... Was it Jumbo? Uh, quest. No, gang. Wait, yeah. I need to... Yep. I need to talk to you. I did the thing. Oh, shut the fuck up. I don't care. Hey. I did the thing. Here, B. Have fun sleeping. Collect painkillers? Uh... I need to stock up on painkillers. If you can get your hands on them, I'll pay a good price. Okay. Is that because I said you were going to go to sleep? I'm going to spend all my money on yogurt. Okay, I put my health up, but didn't fucking satiate me. Yeah. can maybe afford to work out i think it depends on how much they fucking charge 
Oh wait, I want to talk to Joseph some more. Can't be bothered reading all of this conversation. I'm done. Goodbye. <laughs> Can I work out? Oh shit. Fuck. Uh, A W D D. Shit. Fuck. Fuck. I only did two, that was terrible. <laughs> okay. Dude. average nice i got some strength experience uh that's all my money jesus christ this game is fucking relentless <laughs> franklin is he making a bomb or trying to make is he reading about making a bomb Oh, it's a robot vacuum cleaner. <laughs> he wasn't making a bomb. <laughs> I don't have enough focus points. Okay. You look tiny. Talking about my scales, you're looking for a chance to break some off, right? No, oh, I've not. I've not done a good job. Oh, he's a pangolin. I love pangolins. They're so cute. Uh, what do you have? Nunchaku. He has spicy- Oh, I can't get spicy ramen from him because he doesn't like me. Hey, dude. <gasps> Is he a fucking capybara? No! Dude, I need him. Don't leave. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Please. Please. I love capybaras. Have you pissed someone off? I'm a former detective, so you could say that. I caught a lot of bad guys in my time. More than a few of them are in here. If I was any less cautious, I might have taken him out a long time ago. I don't want to talk about that right now. <gasps> He's a capybara! <laughs> I need him to be my bestest friend in the whole wide world. Would you like... <laughs> would you like a glass shank? <laughs> you like some mint? What do you have to trade? He has rust remover. With padded hat. I don't have any money to buy shit from you anyway. Can I go to the infirmary? Fuck. Can I oh, I don't have enough good credit points. Boo. Why can't I? What is this? Green baboon, find alcohol, match made in heaven. What? What? Look. He has laxatives? He has painkillers. I'm guessing I have to 
trade to get these. I don't have enough focus points. Oh, he was a surgeon. I'm guessing the pain yeah, painkills are expensive. <clears throat> tank wrap. Oh. Trank wrap. Fuck. This is a tank wrap. <laughs> Bye. Um. Oh, this is open. What this? Oh. Oh, it's the bath womb. Who the fuck it Winston? Oh. Oh, uh, no. Fuck. Uh, quick wash. I'm clean. Ish. Walter. Oh, wait, is he the skunk? Yeah, he's a skunk. How much do you sell your painkillers for? Still 40. God damn it. Oh wait, can I drink some hot water? <laughs> I'm so fucking broke, man. Prison nightlife. Watch TV in the TV room. Okay. Nope, I can't do that. It's nearly bedtime. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Latest admission is... T yeah, I can't. I can't. I missed... I read it right before. Right. We gotta go to... We gotta go to bed. Can I craft anything? Oh, I have cloth, right? Oh no, the bed sheet makes cloth. Okay, okay, okay. I sleepies in game. Dude, my health. Because I'm hungry. <laughs> hey, bro. Yay, I can see my lawyer. Are you? You don't look too good. Yeah, I'm fucking dying. Um, it looks like this hellhole really is as bad as everyone says. To be honest, I could really use some 
few comforting words, but now might not be the time. We only have 30 minutes. We need to hurry. Sure, I know the only thing you want to do right now is take the band of bastards to set you up. As your partner, I feel exactly the same way. Clues have you found? Remember I told you that I investigated the Baroness Bar? It's the place where the woman was scooped, blah, blah, blah. Some digging and found out that the mayor's former driver was a regular at the bar. Looks like your pres looks like prison has indulged your journalistic intuition. I say former because the driver who goes by the name Domino disappeared six months ago. I did everything I could to find out his whereabouts. Eventually, one of my contacts in the police found a file about this prematurely closed case. There were there was a car crash also six months ago, and the driver that died was none other than Domino. Strange, right? Even though the even though he was the mayor's driver, the case didn't get any coverage. <sighs> oh, big you, sorry. <laughs> Even you didn't hear about it and you're the best reporter I know. Whatever the truth is, there's over a hundred bars in the city and that call but that caller specifically chose the one where Domino was a regular. Probably not just a coincidence. So you think whoever called that night definitely had something valuable to say. Even if she doesn't really have a recording, it might still have something to do with Domino. I guess we have to find her. It's exactly what I'm here for today. She's very cautious. Baroness was just a relay station. Bartender said she won't be easy to find now that we've missed the meet. Unless she left some other message at the time, like a code for her identity. It was late and it was raining outside when he took the call. Three months ago. I'm gonna throw this on the ground. Ugh. Okay, graphics. Paw. I was just going over the day's interviews. The data shows that the lung infection rate of residents increased by 25% after the chemical plant was built, and the incidence of skin disease in children shot up by 40%. Holy crap. Hope it's not some sales call. Hello, are you Tom Noise from Woodpecker TV? Yeah, who are you? Get $30,000 in cash. I have noise you want. Something I want? I have the evidence. I have evidence of the mayor taking a bribe. I hope I know you're investigating it. Since that report, everyone knows I'm investigating it. But I'm not going to lie. I've encountered a lot of people claiming to have information like you, but it always comes to nothing. I think I'm lying. Do you know how much of a risk I'm taking by calling you? Sorry, miss. I'd like to believe you, but I've fallen for too many scams lately. <sighs> if you fell for them, you weren't smart enough. But if you don't believe me, you're stupid. Listen up. It'll only, I'll only say this once. It's up to you if you believe me or not. I have a tape of the mayor taking a bribe. Bring 30000 in cash to the Baroness, Scott, Baroness Bar at Skid Road tomorrow. You can find the noise in the red noise in front of your apartment building just show it to the bartender when you get there remember i'll only wait one day okay are people proud of me i'm actually like vaguely reading things out Something red. That's red. Oh shit. Baroness. Enjoy our late night carnal pleasures. Is that the name of a cocktail? <laughs> Some dude, it's a sex bar. <laughs> 96 Pink Lamp Street, turn left at the back alley. At dust till dawn, back alley. What's this? Looks like some 
It's stamped on it. A loyalty stamp. Put the card in your wallet. I've, I've given up reading, I'm tired. <laughs> oh, he sent me something. Send me a present. Act one. <laughs> Make property storeroom. I can tell from the name that no prisons are allowed in there. If I want to get in, I'll have to at least find out where it is in the prison first. Just before the visit ended, Reed said he'd send me something. Sent me something. Something that would make it easier for me to move around here. Get up. Okay. I am done for today. <laughs> I'm tired. I want to go to bed. I'm EP. Ara. Infinite Fusion. Woo! Uh, yeah, I'm done for today. I'm tired. I want to go to bed. Thanks everyone for joining me. I just kind of decided to play this game on a whim because I saw a YouTuber I like play it and I was like, this is this looks fun. I like that kind of game. And um, right. I don't know if I'll play it again on stream, but yeah. We're gonna say hi to Ara now. Bye!